see all I ever want is for every boy and girl in Kenya we go to school I, and if we fight and fight again tell me how if we do this long time you search and search for the happiness I, I, you mean me now way 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 now me Wewe ndiyo mimi tushikane na ni Kama siyo sasa sini sasa hivi Undugu wa mani umojani jami My name is Yegon Matthew I'm coming from Chepko City and United Youth Group After I was being told by the Masikops Nili pata kujua fitu mingi My life really changed from that day Enye before Nipate yo lessons ama topics juu ya entrepreneurship and the business skills I was useless in the society. And after I completed my high school, nilikuwa na kaa nyumbani, nilikuwa naenda lunch, na udisia wa sasi wapi chakula, alavu na kula. And then after I finished lunch, nilikuwa naenda nje kusurura. And then jioni ikifika ndio narudi nyumbani na waudisa chakula alafu nakula after sasa masikops walipoingia walipokuja na training yao ndipo sasa nikapata ufahamu kuwa the there is need for me to work as a man so that I can earn a living in the society so nilipopata sasa hiyo knowledge nilienda nyumbani nikaambia nika wasasi munisaidie sasa na anything juu tulikuwa na kipande ya duka na hoteli so atukua tumeanza haikuwa ina work haikuwa inatumika so niliulize niliomba wasasi wanisaidie na hiyo kipanda wakakupaliana waka na mimi after sasa masikops kukuja tuli to apply for some loan in some funds so to lipo party of funds to likwa to napidi to fence the school compound our school compound so in in that process or mood to we were able to be given each and every member um, um, some amount of money as a leper or in casual work so to lipa pata yo pesa ndio nikatumia yo pesa nikaanza nikaanza biashara so the first thing nilifanya nilinunua one packet of unga which is 2 kg and then some fats milk and tea leaves and sugar i started my business on that day Nilipoanza hiyo business sasa watu walikuwa wananicheka. Yaani umewezekana kusota imebidi umefungua hoteli. Si kusota. Hii ni hali ya hai. Hizi plastic kama ni hali ya hai baba. Mimi. Yaani unarudiwa na akili mwangu unaona ufanye hicho. Bana unatuchomea picha. Si unataka kwenda get. Hii ya kaunti shuno na kuja quest hapa hii. Si mama na principal saka. Hii ni kuchana. Unatoka. Mimi ni hapa nikasoma. Unatoka. Nitaenda kwa mtu Because nilikuwa na hiyo calling kutoka moyoni mwangu and that knowledge from the Masikops kuhusu business skills and business opportunity in the society I was able to stand with my own principles so nilianza for the first day juu watu wao kwa mjua kwa business inaendelea kuna hoteli imefunguliwa so some some few people were coming to buy mantasis from my hotel so the the, first, the second day the third day and the fourth day after a week i was able to prepare two packets of unga in my hotel so that was an improvement according to me and according to my knowledge i continue with my work figuratively nikijua kuwa this is my earning this is my salary after a month i was able 
to get a profit of 5,000 shillings. When I earn the, the profit in due to the saving, I learn how to say, and because of that knowledge from Master Corps, that there must you must save, you must learn how to save your money, so that each and everything you are doing, you should be having a knowledge for that. So, nilip nilip po tumiya sa yo five thousand. Nikasema siyun tafanya ni niya pesa. So I start to buy tea. Sana kana sana kano nua chai. Watu akakuja hasa. Mtu anakuja na niambia unifungia mandasi tano alafu na nisema nitakuwekea chai. Walipo fa, ni, watu sasa walipo kuja ku, kula chakula alafu wananuwekea makilos kwa my number in the buying center nilifurai sana. Nobody anesa lose so long as you, have, you are having a vision in your life. I accumulate the profit from the hotel and the profit from the tea leaves. So, ilipo accumulate yote, nikaona ni pesa mingi. Ilikuwa 20,000 Kenya shillings. So, nikasema, kitu nye nitafanya, lasema nianzisha nini? Nianzisha kasi ya doka. Nikaanza kununua fitu ya doka that day. Ilipo nunua ya fitu ya doka. Watu wakasema, eh, kumbu wa mainproof. So, wengine walikuwa na nipea changa moto. Kupwa sana kusema, you are improving. Alabu wengine walikuwa na sema, eh, wache tupetu. Hata some years, some months, hata kuwa na anarudi chini. Kumbu ini yako kwenye? Ini yako kwenye? Kwa umendalea? Hmm. Tisuri sana. Nitoka hoteli ni kakuja kwa duka. Iyo ni kasi mzuri? Hmm. Endalea tu? Kasante kasi. Mungu wa kubariki. Siku one, siku lose up in my life. Niliendelea tu hivwa hivwa. Aya, duka, watu walikuja sasa. Nikabata sasa, tell me that, can you give me this and this, so that we can give you this amount of kilos. I appreciate them, and they cooperate with me. We cooperate together, and we go on like that. And then, after a short while, I, I, I realized that there is many profit in my business so i say what enterprises will i start at what project will i start so that i can invest in this money i started a poultry keeping after i started a poultry keeping i start with the one which is kenyechi and then i i buy, i bought 20 of them and then after a short while they hatched and the number of chicken increases in number. So I continue like that. And then recently I decided to go to the broilers to keep broilers. So when I keep broilers, the first day when I went to to, to order for the jigs, one day all jigs, the the jigs was very expensive and was very delicate so the first day in the first time when i attempt i lose 10 chicken and that was like a, a shock for me because it's uh, it seems that i have lost some money which i have used for another business but i said no in everything you never you must stand with your own principles and never lose up in your life so in the second round i started and i i order for the another chick, chicken one day old and the second time there was some improvement only five of them died so i went to the doctor and asked him what is the problem with these chickens why is it not productive to me? But uh, the doctor informed me that the, this thing is very delicate, so it requires high hygienic and uh, moderate temperature. So I try to regulate it, and uh, I manage. 
So for the third time, for the third round, I order for the next one, the next uh, breed for chicken, which is the broilers. And then after I order for that, in and I promise myself that in this time round, I don't want each or even one of the chicken to die. So I I brought them, but unfortunately, I lost then chicken again. That was a very big blow to me. I said, no, I must not go. I, I must not do this again. I should stop doing this business. So, but the business was good if the knowledge was there. So I decided to go to my parents and inform them that why can't you give me some money so that I can go to school so that I can learn this thing in this field of agriculture. When my parents heard that they were proud of me and they informed me that they will do each and everything so that I benefit from it. My parents give me fees, so I use my money, which was my profit, to buy for briefcase and other things which was required in the school. I did not rely with my parents. I removed some money and uh, my business is still going on. I'm now pursuing a course in general agriculture. When is usually about a job? I know that in three years from now, I'll be somewhere else. I'll be having that knowledge that each and every business which I'm starting from the farm will be prosperous because I have a knowledge in my mind or the brain itself. So, thank you very much and may God bless you. See all I ever want is for every boy and girl in Kenya we go to school and if we fight and fight again Tell me, oh, if you do this, long time me, you search and search for the happiness. Eh, eh. Ni me, me na we, we, we na me, we, we ndi yo mimi tushikane na ni. Kama siyo sasa sini sasa hivi, undugu wa mani umojani jami. Wase, hivi ndo tuna try kuwa show, siki la mtu anaweza kuwa prezo. No matter the outcome, after March 4th, we should hold hands and March 4th.